Are you on flat rate pricing or are you looking to go to flat rate pricing? There is no question, flat rate or upfront pricing will become the absolute standard of the industry. And if you're not there already, you need to be looking at it to help increase the profitability of your company. The major issue is anytime your labor rate gets between 80 and $100 per hour, the customer looks at that and says, well, wait a minute, I don't make that. My spouse and I don't make that much combined. Why should I pay you that? The problem is you need to have a rolling warehouse, this service van stocked with every part that we might need, you know, and roll it out to your house, right? Driven by somebody who knows how to use all that stuff in that truck and go in and service a piece of equipment. It costs money to do that. And you have to charge what you need to charge to cover your cost of operation and generate a reasonable profit. Time and material just doesn't allow for that to happen in most cases. Flat rate or upfront pricing will allow that to happen. Now the flat rate pricing calculator will help you determine what price you want to build your flat rate book around. You've got your time and material rate, but flat rate uses what's called an internal hourly rate. We will help you determine what that internal hourly rate needs to be for your company. As with any of the other reports or calculators, whatever departments that you have set up will show up at the top. You need to click on or highlight and select the department that you're working for. In my case, it's my service department that I'm trying to establish my flat rate internal hourly rate. We've got that selected. The first thing that you need to do is you need to click on the modify method icon. Once we've selected the department, click on the modify method icon here in the lower right of our department window. When I do that, it's gonna open up this window and you need to answer basically five questions. Let me walk through these with you real quick. The first one, what percent of the time is spent performing diagnostics? For the typical service call, it's gonna be roughly 20%. Now I know that there's some service calls that uh, you, know, you walk out there and you already know what's wrong with it. And then there's other calls that uh, quite frankly, it takes you three or four hours to figure out what's wrong. On average, 20% is pretty close. About 20% of the time spent on the job is figuring out what's wrong up to getting an approval to go ahead and the balance, the remaining 80% is actually making the repair itself. So that number is defaulted, it should be pretty close. The next question is, is the service fee, the diagnostic fee, retained if the work is performed. In other words, with flat rate or upfront pricing, you're gonna charge this diagnostic fee and you can call it anything you want, right? For HVAC, many times it's called a diagnostic fee. For plumbing, diagnostic doesn't necessarily work because the customer's going, look, I don't need you to diagnose anything. I got water running across my basement floor, come and fix it. Right, so the diagnostic doesn't work well, so a dispatch fee might work, or a service fee, or call it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter, as long as it you know, uh, uh, enables you to charge that extra charge. Now the function of the diagnostic charge is to cover the cost of getting out to the job site and figuring out what's wrong, that period of time. Right. So if you find the repair, you find the, you know, what's wrong, <clears throat> you quote the customer, do you still charge that diagnostic fee or not? Now you can make an argument to me and I'm comfortable with it both ways, either waiving the diagnostic fee or keeping still charging it. But even if we waive it, somebody has to pay me for that time. And at that point, it needs to be built into that internal hourly rate. So we're gonna start out and say that uh, no, uh, the diagnostic fee is not waived. And, and just to give you an idea, typically uh, plumbing contractors tend to waive it. HVAC contractors tend to retain it. They still charge it. And electrical is kind of somewhere in the middle, pool and spa somewhere in the middle. Uh, those other trades are uh, tend to, to vacillate back and forth. Now, I'm gonna start out saying that uh, no, we're gonna waive it. Right, so is the fee retained if the work is actually performed? Uh, no, right, we're in, the, in other words, we're gonna waive it. Next question is, what is that diagnostic fee? Well, in our case, I charge a $69 diagnostic fee, right? So whatever that amount is, right, again, remember that uh, uh, don't get your diagnostic fee so high that all of a sudden they start, a customer starts comparing that to uh, somebody else's labor rate. Because in reality, even though it's not necessarily fair, what'll tend to happen is the consumer will say, okay, $69 diagnostic fee, the guy down the street that I just talked to charges a 95 bucks an hour, they're comparing, the, even though it's not an apples to apples comparison, they compare them together. All right, so in my case, I charge a $69 diagnostic fee, basically just cover the time to get out there, figure out what's wrong. The next question, the percent of the time that the work is performed when a diagnostic call is made. In other words, I went out to your home, 
found out what was wrong, I quoted you a price, what percentage of the time does the customer give me the go ahead to do the repair? And, and again, you can talk to anybody who's on flat rate or upfront pricing, typically it's gonna be about 96 to 97% of the time. You're already there, you found out the problem, or, you know, what it is, um, the vast majority of the time, the customer just wants it taken care of. So I'm gonna put 96% of the time, uh, the customer gives me that go ahead. And the last box, is how many diagnostic calls can your team make in a day? Not each individual technician, but your team as a whole. How many diagnostic calls can they make in the course of a day? Well, I've got two service techs. Each one is averaging five calls a day. That would be 10 calls per day. Once I've answered those five questions, I'll go ahead and click on OK to accept those parameters. And what we're gonna find Right, it actually fills that data in, how I answer those questions right up here on the line, right? And then it builds the report for me down below. So let's take a look at that report. And what this is telling me, right? First off, it gives me a break even and my current rate. Now, if I look at the far right-hand side of this chart, right under current rate, you're gonna see that my standard rate is $116 an hour. In other words, if I'm on time and material, I'm charging $116 an hour. That's what I would need to charge to cover my cost of operation and generate a reasonable profit. Now, in this particular scenario, I said that I was gonna charge a $69 diagnostic fee, but if you had me do the work 96% of the time, I'm gonna waive that fee for you. Well, if we look at that, somebody still has to pay me for that time, so $116, if I'm under flat rate, I would need to build my flat rate book around $141.79 an hour that would give me the same amount of profit. Again, we're building that extra time to get out to the job, figure out what's wrong into our standard pricing for the parts themselves. That's if we weigh the diagnostic fee. Now, if we're not gonna weigh the diagnostic fee, now as we're still gonna charge that in addition, let me just simply go back up. I'm going to hit on modify method again, and I'm gonna change that one parameter. We'll leave everything else the same except that one parameter, is the diagnostic fee retained? If the work is performed, I'm gonna say yes. We'll leave everything else the same, but I'll change that one to yes. I'll go ahead and click on OK in the bottom right-hand corner. The software is gonna recalculate for me. And so if I go back down to my report, now if I take a look at this, I can see that again, if I'm on the equivalent time and material rate of 116 under my current, if I'm on flat rate, I could now actually build my book around $64.64 and still make a 15.7% net profit, which is exactly where I was at $116 an hour time and material. You're going, well, wait a minute, how can I reduce my hourly rate by going to flat rate pricing. Well, think about it for a moment. In this scenario, we said that we were going to retain that diagnostic fee. In other words, we're gonna charge you $69 to get out there. When we find out what's wrong, we're gonna go ahead and uh, quote you on that new repair and you will owe us at that point the repair plus that $69 diagnostic fee. That means that on every service call, there's an additional $69 being brought into the company and that's all extra revenue that we will start to recognize and enhance. In fact, in our company, if we look at it, that's another $179,400 in diagnostic revenue that will be brought into the company. And that diagnostic revenue is going to offset overhead. And so since we're offsetting a whole chunk of overhead with that diagnostic fee, we can now actually lower that hourly rate down. Now, would I do this? No. My recommendation to you is if you're on time and material today, go ahead and switch over to flat rate pricing, add the diagnostic fee, and leave your hourly rate the same. At that point, that'll only enhance your, your, uh, your, 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 your profitability in your service department more. And again, with flat rate pricing, you should easily be at a minimum of 15 to 20% net profit for the work done as flat rate pricing. Utilize flat rate pricing. Now again, we're not a flat rate system. Planning for profit is not a flat rate software tool, but you can absolutely then when you, it doesn't matter which software tool you're using to generate your books or establish your pricing, they're all gonna ask for an internal hourly rate. This is the internal hourly rate that you would actually use. If you have any questions in flat rate pricing or how to establish it within your company, feel free to give us a call at Grandine Associates.